Do you know someone who's been infected by rabies? Have you had that three-year-old child that died because of a simple case of the measles? Does your milk still taste like the intestines of a cow? Hi, I'm Louis Pasteur, creator of the pasteurization system. And boy, do I have a deal for you. Tired of infected milk? Not getting the calcium you deserve? Say hello to my new product, the Easy Milker. Now with every cow you milk, the dairy your animal slave produces 100% bacteria free. No more of that green stuff coming out of its udders. But wait, if you order now, you get a free prototype of my medicine. Grab away. Rabies now has a 45% chance of not appearing once you use this product. So order now. And if you tell the operator that we've just so recommended it, you'll get another rub away and another easy milk free. 200 pound nine for only six easy payments, 29.9. So order yours now. My life. Ugh. Everything sucks. Ugh. Hey, I'm August Humped. You look blue today. As a leader in the latest thinking, I have a solution to your negativity. It's called positive philosophy. Positive philosophy? You see, for the past five ages, man has passed through two phases in his development. The first being religious, the second being metaphysical. The third stage is called positive. We should no longer concern ourselves with the religious. Those are trifling details anyway, who needs them? We should concern ourselves with science. And science leads to happiness. Next we have an exclusive interview with one of today's most controversial scientists, Dr. Charles Darwin and his bulldog, Dr. Huxley. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Yeah, I'm glad to, glad to be here. It's quite an honor. Yeah, it, it is. Okay. Charles, tell me about your theories. Okay. Well, I um, invented this theory called the Theory of Evolution. It's in my new book, The Origin of Species, which will be hitting bookshelves this August. And um, this is my bulldog, Huxley. And what actually, what the Theory of Evolution is all about is the idea that animals, in fact, and even humans and evolve from earlier species throughout time. They adapt to their natural environments. It's kind of a different change of pace from the usual things that we've been used to hearing, but I think, I think it's something really revolutionary that the world can really learn from. So where did you come up with these, some would say, preposterous ideas about our origins? Well, actually, I took a long visit, some would say, to many areas of the world, which I studied various plants and animals and their, how should I say, physical physiques. Um, um, one of my main visits was to the Galapagos Islands, in which I took a ship called the HMS Beagle, which is quite ironic, in fact. So is Huxley a beagle? Oh no, he's a, he's a bulldog. <laughs> so are the allegations true that a scientist named Jean-Baptiste Lamarck has beat you to this, has come up with these series before you? No, of course not. He's French. <laughs> <laughs> so where does God and religion fit into this theory of evolution? Oh, no, no, Huxley, Huxley, no, Huxley! <laughs> Darwinism to this! You can even apply to this! You can even apply social Darwinism to this! Booyah! Darwinism! 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 Survival of the fittest! Only the strong will survive! Darwinism! 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 It's science! Mr. Heisenberg, 
could you um, explain to us a bit about your uncertainty principle? Oh, well, it has a lot to do with how subatomic particles, their movement is a matter of statistical probability rather than cause and effect relationships among particles. But I'm not very certain about, about it, which is why... Dr. Heisenberg, how many calories are in this thing of Alberta beef jerky? 150, I, but I'm not, I'm not certain about that. Mr. Heisenberg, Mr. Heisenberg, what's your favorite color? Uh, green, gr I'm green, but I'm not, I'm not really certain about that. I think green. Mr. Heisenberg, will you marry me? Yes, yeah, but, yes, but I, I'm not certain. Yes, n no, maybe. <laughs> Theory of relativity, what it's all about is space and time just existing in a combined continuum. You know? I mean, it's just real. But now that you know about the theory of relativity, I'm going to teach you about the theory of getting laid. Yes, yes, I propose that scientific theories be regarded as hypothetic concepts of the human mind rather than descriptions of the state of matter. But Newton, don't you think that theories should be considered hypothetical? How about this for hypothetical theories? Max Planck, Quantum Theory of Energy. J.J. Thompson, Formulated Theory of Electrons. Ernest Rutherford, Explained Cause of Radiation. Hello. Here are your results on your study of x-rays. Oh, thank you. Hmm, x-ray concepts.